Mother Nature generally picks this time of year, early June, to replenish her supply of wildlife. Baby animals of all shapes and sizes are being born, and despite the fact that they're fuzzy and cute, they're also young and very frail. If you pick up a baby animal, you run the risk of injuring it. Potentially they're real young and, and fragile at that time of year. And also if mom is around where she mostly is, you have the chance of running her off and, and not giving the animal the best chance to survive. Some people choose to believe the old wives' tale that if you pick up a baby animal, human scent will rub off and the mother will not claim it. This is a common misconception that does a lot of harm to young wildlife. It's not true that if you pick up a baby animal that its mother will abandon it. Um, what our concerns are is if you move the animal from where you found it or take it home with you and then decide to take it back in, that mom at that point will have moved on and then you don't give it a good chance to survive. Because North Dakota has a lot of wide open spaces, it's more likely that hikers or bikers or joggers or pretty much anyone who spends time outdoors will stumble onto a baby animal. Pat Isaacson's advice is just to steer clear. We would like you to just leave baby animals alone. Uh, a lot of people think that they're abandoned when they come across them. Almost all of the time, mom is real close watching uh, and ready to come back as soon as, you're, as soon as you're gone. This is not only good advice to leave the baby animals alone, it's actually a law. It's illegal to possess wild animals regardless of your good intentions. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.